<clears throat> okay. I think I am ready to go in five, four, three, two, in one. What is going on? My name is Ben and welcome to another episode of my daily vlog where I strive to inspire you to achieve your goals and therefore your dreams. How are you? Happy Sunday. I hope you are having an excellent weekend and it's about to end but uh, Monday should be an, a, a great day even though Mondays are not... <laughs> Mondays typically suck but you know what I mean is sometimes it's a good thing to start your week with a smile if, if you can and uh, so I do wish you an excellent week and today was a very easy day at home we did chores around the house I went to the dump I brought these huge boxes from a shed that I built inside my studio here at home and I am going to be building a vocal sound booth and uh, so I finished my awesome wife helped me finishing some screws I couldn't do by myself and that was the end of it so it's uh, ready to keep uh, the, the shed is done all I need to do now I want to do some sound testing and I want to shoot some footage inside of it and then I'm going to install these sound panels inside and then I'm going to do another shoot more footage and then I'm going to build I'm going to make this video for this channel so stay tuned for that I also finished the vocal corner booth that's going to be part two of the same video series that's done. I need to shoot some footage and then I need to tape my, myself talking about it. And today I'm going to talk to you about a topic that I wrote and that I came to me because my wife shared this uh, screenshot of somebody else who posted on Facebook about a different pers different versions of yourselves and uh, I'm gonna read you what I wrote is um, uh, see I wrote different versions of ourselves okay so then I wrote something and then at the the bottom I have what she uh, posted so I'm gonna read you that first so you uh, you understand the context of what I wrote and this is on reddit uh, I'm gonna try to find the link and link and leave you the link on the description below and um, so somebody posted a couple years ago on reddit somebody said a different version of you exists in the minds of everyone who knows you right? and there are about a thousand replies to that statement on Reddit. So, if you wanna, if you wanna go spend a few hours reading, go for it. But they want somebody did some some search and found this really popular um, answer. And this person wrote, and again, I'm gonna try to to find you that link. I need to search for it, and I'll link it on the description. And that person wrote, I read a book that blew my mind. The main character goes crazy when he realizes no one really knows him. The gist is that the person you think as yourself exists only for you and even you don't really know who that is. Every person you meet have a relationship with or make eye contact on the street with creates a version of you in their heads 
you're not the same person to your mom, your dad, your siblings, than you are to your co-workers, your neighbors, or your friends. There are a thousand different versions of yourself out there in people's minds. As you exist in each version, and yet your you, yourself, isn't really a someone at all. And uh, he then he edited this uh, post later and he sourced the book. And the book is called Uno Nisuno Centomila by Luigi. So if you're interested in that book, there you have the title of the book. And, you know, I read that a couple of days ago and uh, I was, uh, it made me feel better. And I knew of all this, but sometimes some things we know and we don't really think about them. Obviously, when they, we don't think about the, the things we know all the time. But sometimes some things that we think about go to the back burner of our brains and, you know, they become less important in our, in our heads. And then when we remember them, they we can extract more value of of that thing of that thought at the current situation so that happened to me when uh, i read what she posted and um and it's true and what i wrote is this about about that uh i wrote there are uh, different versions of ourselves number one what's in people's minds number two what we think it's in people's minds and number three what we think about ourselves so how can you know what's in people's minds you can ask them but the vast majority will never give you their 100 percent honest version of what they truly think of you so it is ultimately a waste of your time to ask everyone you know that they truly think what they truly think about yourself although it could be beneficial to us to ask some close friends to get better and improve with their honest feedback um their la latest and best version of yourself and that's why i care less now so what I mean is, like, if you think about, you know, if you care too much about what people think about yourself, then uh, uh, you don't really know what people truly, truly, truly think about yourself. And, you know, even people, even even most of your friends, the, ma the vast majority of your friends will never tell you 100% what they think about yourself. They may tell you 100% of the positive things they think about yourself but all the negatives and uh i think we all i do have for, for, i will say for all of my friends or most of them i do have one of one or two or three or a few little things that are negative that i think about themselves i'm not going to tell them unless they ask me or i have or unless i have a reason because i don't want to hurt them because i love them and that's why people oftentimes don't tell you the negative things about yourself because they don't, they don't, don't want to hurt you. And, uh, you know, because some people are afraid, you know, uh, I'm afraid that if I tell my friend this negative thing, what he or she's going to do to me, not necessarily physically, uh, but I may lose What if I lose that relationship? You know, so basically i think it's virtually or literally impossible to know with 100 percent of certainty what everybody you know think of yourself it's just basically impossible practically impossible to know so if that is the case i mean you can if you try to know then you're going to be wasting or investing if you don't want to say wasting wasting you you can say investing so much of your time so much of your time so and what are you going to be gaining at the end you know 
So uh, because of all the, the, the hours and hours it will take and days and months to know exactly what everybody think about you. And again, most people will not tell you 100%. Uh, that helps me to, what, the, what that did to me is like helped me to care less. It's not that I don't care. I just care less. You know, I'm more relaxed. I start, I st stop worrying about what people think that much because I may think, oh, well, you know, for example, I haven't been in Facebook that often anymore. So I've been, uh, one of my fears of doing that is like, well, people, my friends are not, are, are going to think that I don't care about them, you know? And, um, you know, some, when you read something like this and, you know, uh, you think about, well, you know, maybe they don't care that I, I'm not on Facebook, not because they don't care about me, but because they have their own lives or because they, they see that if I'm not on Facebook, it's, it's just not a big deal for them, you know? So, uh, that's why, you know, understanding that there are thousands of different versions of yourself and other people's minds. Uh, there is a lot to be gained by by knowing that, and uh, and that should allow you to focus and con and concentrate more on on you and what you're doing for yourself for your own life, and, and of course care about your friends, but stop worrying too much about what they think of yourself because you don't honestly truly know. You know, and and again, the people who are really worth uh, worth it, you know, the, the the true friends. If there is any, if they have any problem with you, uh, uh, any uh, important problem with yourself, they should tell you, you know, and they will if they have to. So you know, uh, why worry too too much? So I am not going to worry about that anymore that much. And I used to, not not a lot, but I used to. So. Not anymore. So now I have a quote to close today's episode. And the, clo the quote I have for you reads, this is one of my idols, as you can tell with my, if you see my computer uh, there. Uh, the quote reads, what other people think of me is not my business. And that was by Michael J. Fox. So, uh, and there you have it. So that is all that I got for you tonight, Sunday night. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And if you want notifications, hit that bell. And if you want, if, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible, typically the very next day. Unless I need to research my answer, in which case it will take me a little longer, but I will reply to you. I promise you that. And uh, I wish you an excellent Monday, and I will see you tomorrow night. And again, thank you so much for watching, and good night.